after 49 years of laughter, first dates, and family fun, Haverhill's own Pilgrim Lanes closed its doors April 30th. The Candlepin Bowling Center drew bowlers from all over the Merrimack Valley to enjoy a sport unique to New England. But beyond that, it was a gathering spot for three generations of locals. The journal went down for one last look. Now, from the Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, it's the 18th Annual Candlepin Bowling Championship. Pilgrim Lanes, it's not just about bowling. Over the years, we've had um, really a lot of friends come in. It was a once a week ritual, if you will, and it was always, it was always a lot of fun. In the bowling world, it's, a, it's like your family. We always had fun here. Always, always, always. I bowled here for about 35 years. I am going to miss this place terribly. Pilgrim Lanes was built back in 1967. Uh, it originally, the machines came from the Elite Lanes, which was downtown. My dad bought the place in 1963-64, down on Water Street. Urban Renewal had to come in and knock down the building and everything that was there. My dad figured, okay, let's, let's move the, uh, the building. He was able to find this property at a good price. The design of the, the bowling center and the Pilgrim Lanes, I don't know, he had this thing about pilgrims at the time. And I don't know what it is and why he enjoyed it so much, but that was his theme, that was his logo, and we all went with it. We had our grand opening on September 23rd, 1967, two days before my mom's birthday. And the day we opened up here, Russ Webster was the um, Pilgrim John, and my sister was Priscilla. But we had a grand opening with my mom and my dad right out front cutting the red ribbon. And it was, um, it was fantastic that day. I mean, it was packed the first, oh, years or so. It was unbelievable. People were on waiting lists at the time, you know, when we first opened up and into the early 70s, mid 70s and early 80s. It was the thing to do. We were running 20, 25 leagues during the course of a week. You keep them beating them off with a stick, you know, it was great, you know. It was, it, it was a fun time to be in the bowling business. It really was, it was, it was good to see. The live show memories, those are awesome too, with Don Gillis and Ed Harding and Brian Larry. Uh, the TV show lasted 35 years. When we had the Channel 5 shows here, live shows, we had so many people come in to watch, hundreds and hundreds of people, just to come in and watch the pro bowlers that you would see on TV. It was so exciting to see people bowling for ten, fifteen, twenty thousand um, dollars $20,000. It was live TV and you hope that the machines don't break and everything runs good. To me, that was the most exciting part, having Channel 5 live here. In uh, the mid-90s, they, they did a TV show out of here called uh, The Skins Show. It was on Channel 50 at the time, and I was fortunate enough to make the show. Richard gaining on him. This carryover now worth $80 here in the seventh. Oh, that right close to a strike for Dave Arsenal. It was a good show, and it was done right here at Pilgrim. I started here in uh, 19, approximately 1969 and bowl till uh, approximately again 1977. Uh, every Saturday morning, without, without question, uh, was here every Saturday. It was, it was so much fun, so many great memories. Uh, I, I loved it here. I am guessing I got this shirt when I started in 1969, maybe 1970 or 71. I can't believe it still fits. Well, it, it doesn't really fit. Last day I had to wear it. We have had people over the years They've had their first dates here, they had their first kiss here, and Pilgrim Lanes was, I guess, the romantic place to be. Maybe bowling's an aphrodisiac, I don't know. I did not really know too many names, but I always did know what size they had. I could always do that. When they come in the door, I'd say, you take a six and a half, you take a seven. You get to know these people, you get to know their families. We've had kids in our kids' league come in they would grow up, we would see them grow. They would go to school, they would go to college. They would have kids come in with their kids. And it was just a generational thing. 
What do you love about bowling? It's fun for learning and spending time with your friends. At work, I encourage my, my friends at work to come so we'd get together yeah. and we'd come here and bowl too after work. We, we just love this place. You know, Gary and Dale, they're wonderful people. It wasn't a job to me, it was, it was a fun time to come. It really was. You know, my dad always said, if you enjoy what you're doing, it's not work. And it wasn't work. You know, I, I get to see everybody that I enjoy seeing, and it, would, it, it was just um, a great time. I'm going to miss everybody. I'm going to miss all the fun I had with all the open bowlers and all the senior citizens that came in. All the kids on Saturday morning, I'm going to miss that. And again, I can't emphasize, you know, how much fun I had with all the people coming in and out of here. And that made my, fun, my job fun.